There's a serious problem with gender rights at the moment, and I believe it's widening the divide between men and women rather than narrowing it. When it comes to gender rights and gender equality in our society, we are still awkward teenagers. We haven't got it all figured out yet, but we still like to pretend that we have all the answers. I think you'd have to be living in a state of denial if you don't believe that both men and women suffer gender-based injustices all around the world. Fortunately, almost everyone I speak to wants fairness for both genders. So why does it seem to be so hard to have an adult conversation about it without resorting to bickering and name-calling? Why is it so hard to get most people to listen to very valid calls to action for many women's rights issues? Why is it so hard to get most women to listen to very valid calls to action for many men's rights issues? Why can't both sides just sit in a room together and find a mutually beneficial solution like adults? I believe the reason all boils down to our media's obsession with extremism. Let me explain. If you consider all the men and all the women in the Western world, you'd be hard pressed to find people who don't want equality for men and women. Sure, we all have varying opinions of how to get that equality, or even what equality actually means, but at our cores, most of us just want things to be fair. However, at the far end of the spectrum, you get a small percentage of extremists, emotionally unbalanced individuals who have an ax to grind and demand to be heard. They band together and mob mentality quickly sweeps in, which further erodes logic and increases aggressiveness. Extremist mobs all behave in a similar way, whether their cause is political, racial, or gender-based. You get both verbally and physically aggressive behavior, you get attempts to dominate and silence those who disagree with you, and you get attempts at character assassination. Essentially, they become irrational bullies. So extreme feminists may make the catch cry that all men are rapists, while men's rights activists make the claim that women who dress provocatively deserve to be raped. Even though these opinions are far removed from the views of the majority of feminists or men's rights activists, the media loves extremism, and so this tiny faction gets 90% of media attention and 90% of social media shares. This means that the rest of us fall victim to a serious case of what you see is all there is. As a man who isn't actively involved in any feminist groups, my personal experience is that almost all the feminists I see online seem to think that all men are rapists and most of us should be locked up for breathing. While the average feminist has the experience that almost all men's rights activists she sees believe that women deserve to be raped. It's my experience that the average feminist and the average men's rights advocate could get along quite well. They both want many of the same outcomes. They both have genuine sympathy for the needs of both genders. Sure, they won't agree on everything, but most feminists I know personally respect my opinions about men's rights, as I respect their opinions about women's rights. As a result, productive adult discussions flow easily, with both parties walking away with a more open mind than before. So how do we bring a voice to the average? How do we empower the average gender rights campaigner while disempowering the extremists, bringing their degree of control to the debate back to the level their actual numbers warrant? I'd love to hear your ideas in the comments below. Do you agree that it's time to quieten the extremists on both sides of the gender campaign? Do you think there's a way to achieve that? Or is it a hopeless pipe dream? I look forward to reading your answers. Until next time, I'm Damien Tika. Take care.